Welcome back. It's been a whole day since we've played Shogi. Does it feel like an eternity or does it feel like one day? I don't know. Yesterday we played 10 second Shogi. Today let's play a bit of slower pace, a little bit more seriously, and see how we do. I still want to continue trying to play Swinging Rook openings. Probably third foul rook. Lately, bishop exchange looks kind of fun, but I don't know if I want to spend a whole 10 minute game playing that. <laughs> Which is funny to say because on other sites, games go longer. Good luck. Alright, third foul rook, here we go. Let's close this diagonal. Okay, I'm still going to blunt this third file and challenge it directly. Then let's bring the silver out. Okay, so they're going to contest the fourth file directly. I think I'm going to bring my silver out so it contests again, or fights back against this rook here. This might be a bit premature, bringing the silver forward immediately. I'm not sure. But I wonder if they're playing left on Aguma strategy. Left Badger. Um, Alright, so this gold fights against my rook. Their bishop's active, my bishop is passive. Um, Oh, nothing is defending my gold general. That's not good. Um, hmm. Hmm. Yeah, okay, we're just going to continue building our castle and pretend things are okay. But, yeah, I've lost the initiative already. Um, how have I lost it? I've pushed three pawn moves, they pushed two pawn moves, and they are more aggressively posted than I am. If I move this gold, bad things can happen. Um, alright, so they're building Elmo Castle, I suppose? Or I'm not sure, maybe the silver isn't even intended to build a castle. I'm not sure. Yeah, that's Elmo. So my Rook and Bishop continue defending each other here. They strike aggressively. Um, I'm not really sure what to do. Oh, I could have brought my knight out to stop this. But I didn't want to. So that's why we're here. Okay, I've got to take this bishop back. Otherwise, my rook is dead. And now I could try pinning this, but the pin's not going to last. Um, hmm, yeah, I'm not sure what to do in this circumstance. Well, it feels like the pin does not last, but this is the most active place that I can put my rook. So there's still some sense in trying this. But I think I've done everything according to recommendations I've been given about how to play this. Other than the timing of my moves kind of sucks. But um, the content of the moves doesn't seem terrible. So they're threatening to take this pawn. After which, I don't know how well off I am. Um, hmm. This looks interesting. We're going to build up a hard wall now that the rook is still blocked. They might drop a pawn right on my rook's head, but the pawn doesn't go anywhere. Um, they might ex well, my rook's defended. If rooks get exchanged, then this could have been a wasted move to bring this cold out of the path of the rook. But if there is not an exchange, then maybe this is not a wasted tempo. Um, 
Either way, this gold has had to stay fragmented away from this castle. So I can bring the silver toward the castle at this point. Also, I could just take this directly. But then they have a rook drop fork. I have a rook protecting that and hitting this gold. Hmm. That looks free to me. Free is not always good. Free and good are not always the same thing. Yeah, I don't understand what they're doing. This rook, this pawn blocks their attack. This is the other thing I was evaluating that convinced me that this uh, gold building the Mino was a playable move here. Is that in this position, uh, a turn ago, or two turns ago, I didn't see a way for them to proceed here. I still don't see a way for them to proceed. I could play a bishop here attacking a knight and attacking the castle head, but then the bishop, having taken this pawn, can't go anywhere else. Still, that might be my best option. I don't know. Their silver is trapped, um, but I can't capture it. It just can't go anywhere. I could chase it. Oh. Wow. Wow. Didn't see that coming. Um, interesting. And puzzling. I should take this. Don't look a gift horse in the mouth. Um, feel like that should be a proverb, but it's not. <laughs> Still, like, yeah, this, I don't understand what they're doing. I am now up a silver. So if they bring a very strong attack, I can add a fifth general to protect my king, while their king is protected by two generals. I continue delaying my bishop drop because I don't have a good, I don't see a good square for it. Let me check my overlay. Overlay looks fine. Yeah, if I could get them to push this pawn, I'd have a nice bishop fork, but that ain't happening. This is perplexing. It'd be one thing if I were hanging something outright, but I have a loose gold and a loose rook that are knights throw away from each other, so bishop cannot attack two pieces that are a knight's distance apart. Everything else minus this knight is defended, so not sure what they're doing. I mean, maybe their plan is just to promote the rook, but I can prevent that. I could also drop a pawn here. If they do rook takes, then drop a bishop and win the lance. Um, since they don't have a silver general to trap my bishop in the corner. So yeah, pawn drop two spaces in front of the rook might be very strong due to this potential fork. Then they might cover that with the rook, or maybe, I don't know. Well, we got them thinking, boys. <laughs> All right. So they offer up the token. That's reasonable. Um, that's very reasonable for them to do. Um, hmm. I don't have a perfect counter to this. Yeah, I think I want to keep my castle intact, even if that presents other problems. So now my rook can't activate, and that's a problem. Um, still, that's not the worst problem to have. If I move here, yeah, they don't have a fork. 
and I have everything chasing their king. So this can't be too bad. Mm -hmm. Okay, we're just going to keep going after the king. Just going to keep pursuing. That was the idea. I don't know what ne comes next. Oh, this is not terrible, is it? So they get a knight, I get a knight. Fair is fair. But uh, their king is in the middle of this fray. So most people would find being this vulnerable at least a little bit concerning. Mm -hmm. Okay. If I... Hmm. Silver, gold. Silver, king, bishop. Uh, Gofu. Yeah, they get two silvers. They can block my bishop. Hmm. I mean, there's no need for me to be extremely aggressive here. I can take one slack move here. Because um, what follows next is going to be devastating. I've got... F I mean, I could have protected the bishop, but why? I can still, like, drop the pawn and push it there and hit the gold anyway. So there's no reason for me to be so crazily aggressive here. Um, if I'm impatient, I drop a knight. Yeah, I think the impatient move looks best here. Straight to the point. And... Yeah, they'll have to defend somehow. Hmm. How do I continue? If I give them a tempo, what's the worst they can do? How can they defend that? They can take away the square I want to drop on. That's quite annoying. Um, hmm. It's not an obvious win here. Or if there is, I'm not seeing it. Oh. This is not terrible. Um, It's not great either. Yeah, this allows me to keep a silver in hand while continuing an attack. That wasn't obvious to me. Maybe it's obvious to you. Hmm. I've got pawns. I might as well use them, right?
I mean, what's he going to do with pawns? He could eject my silver, but he'd need to find time to do that. So, yeah, I'm not giving him a tempo to do anything here. <laughs> or rather, this is the closest I'm coming to giving him a tempo. Um... My rook's just sitting out there doing nothing, so I might as well use it, right? Yeah, I was not kidding about this attack being devastating. I was not joking. So... Yeah, my king seems comparatively well defended. Um, I can take this gold and then promote here and then drop something, and it's just amazing. If they take my silver, yeah, then other problems happen. If they drop a bishop or a silver here, I move up. Well, I don't need to move up. Yeah, it's fine. Um, I mean, I can move up, though, and it's best for me to do so. Yeah, so let's do that. How are they going to fight back? Worst case, I take this lance. I still have a piece very close to their king. Right, so they've given up defense of the square next to their king. Uh, so we just check. What an attack. What an attack. Thanks for the game. All right, let's play another game. Yeah, that was epic. I've not done that in a while. Thank you. Good luck. Hmm. Interesting. We'll say no to this bishop eventually coming there. It's going to go there eventually anyway, but we have said no to it. So are they playing sleeve rook or what? Opposing rook. Okay. So now we know where the rook is based. Um, this doesn't look right. <laughs> yes, I am crazy. Let's do it. I don't even know what this is, but we're doing it. Uh, why do I do this? I don't know. Shogi's fun.
We insist that Shogi is fun. All right. Uh... Hmm. Sure, why not? Okay, how can we make this game even more fun than it already is? I don't know, man. Why the hell not? <laughs> Why the hell not? Yeah. All right. What's the worst that could happen? I could maybe lose all of my pieces on the left side of the board. How bad would that be? Okay, so we got a silver and a bishop. And a horse that's in the corner not doing a whole ton, but it doesn't have to stay that way. Interesting. Nanafun. Hmm. That's a good point, sir. Well spotted. I guess this is reasonable. I don't know. How many pawns can I take before my king dies? It's just a function of how good or bad this position is. My king likes uh, walks in the park. Uh, long walks on the beach, or however you say it. Yeah, so... Um, I mean, I get it that this is going to be probably giving back my bishop. Maybe it's even worse than that. I'm not sure. Actually, a rook drop on the head is kind of scary, isn't it? Yeah, kind of. All right. Um, I think, yeah, this is the best move since it doesn't get me made it on the next turn. All right, they get a bishop. I get a rook. I have a pro rook bias. We all know this. Um, okay, that's not a knight drop, that's a knight move. Um, I guess this is the safest direction? No, it's not. Hmm. Well, maybe. It's hard to say. 
Every direction's pretty bad. Um, yeah, this one doesn't seem so bad. So they could... No, the bishop drop doesn't win the silver, actually, so it would give them a horse. But that's the extent of it. Um, hmm. Yeah, this knight actually interferes with their rook. So I'm thinking that while my opening play has been dubious, we're starting to come back from it. Um, it's going to be a long road, isn't it? Hmm. So we got three pawns. This might not be a bad time. Oh, this could be a terrible time to use a pawn, because a bishop moving up this way could be scary. Hmm. Hmm. Then again, the bishop would be floating out here. I could hit it. Um. Gofun. Hmm. Tough decision. No, I should just keep running. Running is the safe thing to do here. Not that any option's perfect, but yeah, that's a fork. They say don't run from a fork, so let's not run from it. Uh, threatening to take the bishop and drop a silver, which would chase the rook. And I don't know what happens after that, but... Um, okay, they wall in their king. I think I'm okay with that. Um, Hmm. I'm wishing that my pieces were in two places at once, but that's not how this game works. All right, let's use our pawn. If I take that, my king becomes super vulnerable, so let's take here instead. Hmm. Interesting. Sampun. Well, that bishop would be prone to a fork. Orc's not the end of the world, though. <sighs> um... So bizarre. Nifun Sanjubio. Alright, this is my best move. Because this makes use of my four pawns in hand. Um, I just keep hitting it. And we continue, just keep hitting it. <laughs> right? We've got the pawns, might as well use them. 
All right. They got tired of being hit. Mm -hmm. Um. <clears throat> that's not so easy to contend with. Um. Hmm. No. Maybe, but probably not. I don't know. Oh, Bishop Takes Pawn is still here. I should have availed myself of this opportunity already. But maybe there's some downside to it. Hmm. Yeah, so since they have multiple generals in hand... <sighs> yeah, I should needed to have done this a turn ago. Although my attack is not mate, so this is just as good. Or bad. Mostly bad. <sighs> so, yeah, I would like to checkmate. But it's... It's a burger and fries short of a Happy Meal. So, you have to push the pawn twice. Oh, yeah, burger, fries, and a toy short of a Happy Meal, honestly. Think how close we are. Um, wait, I have the options here. Right, if I go up, as this mate and one. It feels very mate and one-y, but I don't see the checkmate and one. Hmm. Mm. Feels very checkmate in one e, but I don't see it. And if this is not mate in one, I have to play this. If it is, probably well. Even if there's a forced mate here, um, the other way seems even worse. It just seems like there's absolutely no escaping if I run away that way. Whereas here, I might escape up the board. That's how I feel. I mean, sure, they got seven pieces in hand, but we have a running king. <laughs> if they sack back here, I can't take it. Because of a rook drop. Yeah, oh, okay. Yeah, I have to get away from this gold general here. Um, oh, gold drop mate. Thanks for the game. Nicely played. Yeah, that's what I get for moving quickly. But that's how Shogi Wars goes. It's, it's fun, it's entertainment, it can be a test too. Good luck. All right, Static Rook. Hmm. I could play, <laughs> wait, wait, what is this? Um, hmm. yeah, let's play opposing rook, but this is weird. Yeah, I've played some super weird thing. I need to get my king out of here before it blows up on me. Uh, but now I think this move order looks playable. 
since they've not built any castle. Uh, I can attack in every direction here. Um, how about this direction? I guess we have a case of, I can't believe it's not Duck Castle. Um, wait, if I push that, they could ex offer a bishop exchange, which I'm not prepared to meet. Um, let's just go over here. Okay. Um... If I can test this directly, they do the same. I take silver takes. I got nothing. Um. I should take here, and then attempt to shore up this nonsense. So we got our strong clip shape. Okay, we'll build uh, a different castle here. One that takes one less turn to build. A uh, cozy castle, I believe. Might not even have to build that, because their rook is clearly approaching from the left. So, like, I don't need to build something that's more balanced. This is just fine. Unless their rook can somehow teleport into this other corner. And, you know, eventually I'll have to eat my words on that, but let's savor this for now. Mm -hmm. Okay. Sure. You get the diagonal. Are you happy? <laughs> I hope you're happy, because you tried really hard to get this. Um, I'm sure it meant something to you at the time. Nanafun. <laughs> mm-hmm. Yeah, this looks kind of fun, right? How bad can this be? Oh, I forgot. I can't put my rook behind this pawn. Because that would lose my rook. I had ideas. They were bad ideas. Alright, what's my next idea? And is it good? Wow, putting that down there is sad, but maybe necessary. Sure, let's do it.
Okay, we've got a knight in hand. Hopefully that's a useful piece. Um, yeah, they attack my bishop. I guess I should do something about that. Now if I take, then Tokin takes, and I'm in a similar dilemma, but with their rook better off. Hmm. That's not easy. I've been so focused on trying to get this king. Well, there are other pieces on this board. So they get a dragon. Oh well. Couldn't be helped. Shogunai, they say. Alright, so... That's interesting. Gofun. Kind of get it, but hmm. Oh right, I can't activate my bishop here. That's the point. That's the subtle nuance. Hmm. Forget this. We're going to attack. Again, we're a burger, fries, and a toy short of a Happy Meal. But um, let's pretend this is fine. Peace value, shmice value. We're going to exchange everything. And if that doesn't work, then okay, yeah, we'll have to start thinking more about peace values. Um, is the lance what I want here? Not exactly. Um, do I have an attack anywhere else? Maybe. We'll do the simple, obvious, direct thing that they'll directly refute. Oh, they don't even bother. Interesting. Yeah, well spotted, actually. Um, hmm. Yeah, my attack looks scary, but has no bite. Hmm. Thumb. That's a bit disappointing. I guess we can, can conclude at this point that I have no idea how to play opposing rook strategy. Like, I've bungled this in every way imaginable. Um, yeah, let's just attack here. So spending a tempo dropping a pawn back there was completely useless, and now I understand that. Would have been great if I saw that earlier, but hey, uh, hindsight is not quite as valuable as foresight, but still has some value. Um,
So I'm getting rolled by this uh, gentleman who I assume is ascending quickly up the ranks. Despite he didn't win a series of games, so it doesn't say X winning next to his name, but still. Um, yeah, I'm sure that with skill like this, he's got to be quickly climbing up. Or I'm heading in the other direction really quickly. Or both. It's just a number. Okay, we need a piece. We'll take a piece. But yeah, I don't want to break the edge just yet. But that's coming soon because I've got nothing left. Meanwhile, they got, <laughs> they have a bishop, gold, silver, knight, and pawn in hand. Hmm. Okay, we need material. We'll take it. It's possible there might be another explanation for why they're 2Q. It's possible. So that is tragic. But, um... But also, if so, we'll make sure to exploit it so that they learn. My veiled threat of trying to drop a bishop on 5-5 is kind of obvious. Alright, we're going to drop it anyway. Oh, uh, that's weird. Why would you do that? Um... Okay, we attack from the front and from the side. Oh, I could take the damn pawn. I should have taken the damn pawn. Um. 30秒. Hopefully my idiocy does not result in my defeat. Uh. Oh, well, it's a dragon, isn't it? Whatever. I need to checkmate, like, now. I'm out of turns and out of time. Jubio. And out of pieces.
時間切れ。Thanks for the game. Alright, so we won one for three on the day. But hey, we got to play some games. And playing games is not bad, is it? Apparently, well, no, this is just the result of our last game here. Yeah, we started the day at 30%, we finished at 26%. Like I said, one dawn is like an eternity away. But hey, we get to play games, and playing games is fun. So that's what really matters. Hope we enjoyed that. Thanks for watching.